Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. In today's video, I bring you with me while I compete in a bass fishing tournament. If you've seen my other tournament videos, you know I like to just bring you all along, show you where I'm at, what I'm using, give you some leaderboard updates throughout today. And so for this tournament, I was competing in the 10 Cat event on Melton Hill. 10 Cat is Tennessee Kayak Anglers Tournament Trail. They have a once a month event at various bodies of water here in East Tennessee. And this tournament on Melton Hill had a pretty good turnout. There were 20 of us competing that ran from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. and scored our three longest bass. That's largemouth, smallmouth, or spotted bass in any combination. Now, Melton Hill, it is a deep and clear reservoir. And for those of you who watch my non-catfishing videos, you know that's right up my alley because I love ultralight fishing. I love those finesse presentations. And that crystal clear water on Melton Hill is the perfect scenario for this type of fishing that I like to do. So I took my ultralight rods and some jigs and I went out there to see what I could do in this bass tournament. Fish first cast. First cast. Is it a bass? It is. It is. It's a bass on the first cast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, get in that net. Oh man. I'm off to a great start, y'all. You probably can't see a dang thing either because of the light. It's just a few minutes after 6 a.m. right now. Let me see what time it is. 6.08. I have gotten a little bit later start out here this morning. It took me longer to pedal up here than what I thought it was going to. Oh, dang, he has choked that bait, too. He has choked that thing. All right, y'all, let's get this thing measured, get our pictures, and get our first fish on the board. Heck yeah, man. All right, y'all, I'm going to try to point him toward where the sun's coming at, but that's it if you can see him. 16 and a quarter inch smallmouth first cast of the day man if my luck continues like this from here i'm gonna be in good shape see you buddy how you going now let's throw right back in there where i got that last one and see if he's got some friends with him i'm just using this gulp minnow on a 132nd ounce jig head and i'm letting it fall down here there's a little transition area here i got thumped right there oh i missed him i missed him that may have been a bluegill hitting it. There's a little transition here area where the rocks change. You can see there's like a bluff wall right here. And then the composition change over here. It's like smaller gravel type area to the left. And these transition areas, if you watch my catfishing videos, I love fishing transition areas. And they're great for bass and other species too. A lot of fish will congregate in these type of areas. And that's where we got that last smallmouth. There's another one. There's another one. Uh, this one here is smaller, though. This one's smaller. He, they got to be 12 inches out here today to be able to turn them in. I don't even need a net on that one. All right, y'all, fish number two. Just a baby. Won't help me for the tournament, but nevertheless, we're on some smallmouth right here. Fish right there. We got another one. He's coming up. Oh, he spit it. Oh my gosh, he spit it right there. Y'all, we're on some fish. That's the third fish and about 10 casts on this spot. That one would have kept right there. He just didn't, he didn't have the hook good. Oh, I'm hooked up again. I'm hooked up again. I feel his head shaking. It's definitely a bass. No, it's not. I've lied to you. <laughs> it felt like head shakes of a bass, but it is just a big bluegill. Look at this thing right here, buddy. If I had my bait tank with me, I'd throw him in there and keep him for a catfishing trip. That's a good one. I ain't got time to put him on my board, but he's probably eight inches, every bit of it. got me excited I felt him felt like head shakes of a bass right there I'm feeling the bluegill just bump bump look at my line swimming he's got it yep he, yep 
Oh, that's another little one. Another baby right there. Another baby. They are in here though, man. Yeah, another little baby smallmouth, but right species anyway. That's what I'm hoping to see today, y'all. Oh, good hell. Here come the professionals. I could sure do without seeing them today. Got them running 60 miles an hour out here with all this debris in the water. Oh, that's a Saturday, folks. <laughs> oh, that's a fish. I thought I was hung for a second right there, guys. Oh, here it comes. Oh, yeah. That's a, that one will keep. I think that's a largemouth. He just flung the minnow off. Is that a largemouth? It is. It is. All right, y'all. 12 and a quarter inch largemouth. Probably not going to help my final score, but hey, it's one step closer to my limit. This one here, he's been caught before. You can see his mouth's tore up right there. But somebody let him go just like I'm about to. He'll get caught again, maybe. All right. Let's see if we can upgrade. My line's swimming right here. Fish on. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah. That's a good fish, but I'm not confident it's a bass. That may be one of them dang old channel cats. If it was a bass, it's most likely done come up by now. Feels like a channel. I do not want to see those things today. I'm making my way down this ledge now. My bite on that point there, that little transitionary point, died. I mean, it was like a light switch went off. The bass bite stopped. The bluegill bite stopped. I mean, everything was just gone off there. And I fished it about another 30 minutes without getting nothing. So I've just been slowly making my way down this ledge since then. I'm going to work a little stretch of it here, then go back up, hit that point again. And just rotate like that throughout the day. I've got two out of my three fish that I need for my limit. One of them, that 16 inch will probably still be on my score at the end of the day. But I do need two more good fish to have a chance at this thing. And this one here, I promise you, ain't going to be what I need. I've got half of mine just to go ahead and break him off. I'm a better person than that. We'll land him and get the hook out. <laughs> hate these dang channel cats. They ain't good for nothing. Steal my bait when I'm catfishing and waste my time when I'm in a bass tournament. There he is. Here's this old ugly thing right here. Oh, dadgummit. He swallowed that jig anyway. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to cut my line anyhow. Heck far. Dang channel cat. All right, there he is. Hopefully the last one of the day. All right, I am retied. That's a 132nd inch jig head with a number two hook, three inch Berkeley gulp minnow. Got that on the ultralight rod. Four pound test line, and that's what I'm gonna be throwing all day long, y'all. All day long. I've got three rods with me today, two of them are ultralight. One of them is basically just a backup in case I have a malfunction with either the rod or the reel. And then I've also got a, another rod with a small spoon tied on, which I had planned on using possibly first thing this morning at daybreak if I saw a fish busting the surface. So that rod ain't gonna get used today. We're going to be going ultralight and these jigs all day long looking for these smallmouth bass. I just need me two more in that 18 to 20 inch range. It ain't asking much, is it? <laughs> just, a, just a couple 20 inch smallmouth. That's all I need. <laughs> There's a fish. Golly, bum, I thought I'd stuck a tree there and it's a fish. <laughs> oh, that's a good one too. That's a good one. 
That's a good one right there. Get in there. It's a large mouth. Man, I come out here today, y'all, hoping to catch small mouth, and it may be the large mouth that gets it done for me. Heck yeah, man. I thought I had set that hook into a tree limb down there, and it started to pull back. <laughs> Oh yeah. This in here again, no monster, but it will finish out my limit. And we can start trying to upgrade from here. Alright guys, 14 and a half inch large mouth finishes out my limit. Let's start culling. Fish. We got us another one. I don't know what he is yet. Oh, that's another smallmouth. That's a smallmouth. That's what we want. Target species engaged. I believe this one here is big enough to replace my smallest fish. Get him over here and land him. Get in that net, boy. Yeah. That's what I want. I don't know second look at him here we'll throw him on the board he may replace that that smallest one no y'all that one there is going to be about 12 and a half inches i misspoke i think earlier that smallest fish of mine is 12 and three quarters inches once i zoomed in on the picture so not going to replace our other fish but nevertheless getting back on some action here There he is. Felt him eat it. Uh, is he a bass? Yep, he is. That's another large mouth. Oh, he's got a, oh, he had a small mouth come up right beside him too. There was a small mouth even bigger than him right beside him. I would have rather had that dang small mouth. That was the bigger fish of the two. I'll get him unhooked and We'll throw back in there. I think this one's going to be too short to to cull my other. We'll measure him real fast. But here, I gotta I gotta back off this area here. Pull him going in on top of where I caught him at. All right, let's throw him on the board. Yeah, that's another one there, right at about 12 inches. So not going to help us but his smallmouth friend that was there beside him just might there's another one. Oh yeah let's try and catch up with him he was coming straight at me oh he spit it dang i was afraid he wasn't hooked good because he was coming right at me from the moment he ate the bait Dang, man. I don't know that he would have replaced my other one anyway, but I'd still like to put him on a board to find out. <laughs> I just had one eat it right there. Oh, can I catch up with him? He's coming right at me. It's the same thing that other one did. Oh, stay down. It's a small mouth. <laughs> I felt him just inhale that thing. That's when you're doing this kind of fishing, you need a real sensitive rod. This is a St. Croix Panfish Series rod, and uh, you know, a little pricey. They're like $110, but for ultralight rods, it's way better to spend a little more and get a quality rod versus getting some cheapo from the Walmart that's going to be real flimsy and noodly and you're not going to feel anything with. Let's see if I can get this thing in a net right quick. I believe this one here will be an upgrade. No guys, that ain't an upgrade either. He's about 12 and a half, so not going to help me. Fun time, but that's all he is. Alright guys, it is now 844. Let's check the standings here. Looks like currently... I am in fifth place with 43 and a half inches, but if 
first place has only got 47 and three quarters. So we're all kind of bunched up here together. One good fish could really swing it for somebody. Uh, I'm gonna make a run up here back where I started and fish this little point here on this transition area. And I'm gonna just keep working this area that I went down this morning along this ledge. Just keep back and forth on it all day long. Fish. There he is. That's another largemouth. He had a fish beside him too. There's a tree right there. He was on that tree. This one ain't gonna this one ain't gonna do nothing for me though. I'm gonna back off this tree right fast. Some boat wake is gonna push me right on top of it. It's good to get a bite anyway, y'all. It has been a long time between bites. Let me see what time it is now. It's 9.49 right now. This is the first bite I've had in an hour. It's just a little thing. I don't know what's happened, but the bite has just died. At least the bite I was on, anyway. I'm going to throw right back in there on that tree. See if another one's in there. Thumped right there. Another one off that tree. This in here may be a little better. Yeah, it is. It is a little better. Oh, goodness, he missed the net. <laughs> yes. We'll measure that one. He may be an improvement. That's two now off this little tree I see. I can just see the top of it at the water line. And I threw two casts now around that thing and gotten two fish, so very, very encouraging. Hey guys, that one will upgrade for me. That one's over 13, if I can get him to lay still. About 13 and a half, so that's a little bit. There he is, there's that ornery thing. 13 and a half inches, so slight upgrade. Send him home. I'm gonna get repositioned here and we're gonna make a few more casts on that tree. There's this one right there. Oh, he's got me wrapped in something, y'all. Oh my gosh, he's got me wrapped up in something. He's on there, I feel him. There he comes. He come out of it. Oh, when you're on when you got four pound line on here, y'all. You cannot get wrapped up in stuff. That is a recipe for disaster. And that's another smallmouth, too. That's another smallmouth. Let me get my net ready and get him back up here. Oh, man, he had me around that tree down there. Oh, I think I need this one here. I think this one. We'll measure him and see. I don't know what he's going to turn out to be. Oh, goodness. He's going where he wants to go. He's getting me in my net. These smallmouth are hard fighting fish. I can't nip the dang thing. There he is. My gosh. Hey, guys, that one there. That one there will go 13 and 3 quarters, looks like. So he'll be an upgrade. All right, y'all, there he is. I got to zoom in on the pick. It's going to be real close to 14 inches. It may end up being 13 and three quarters. I'll have to look and see. Got one right there. Yeah. I hope that's a bass, not a channel cat. I hope it is. I'm back up here at the top where I started, y'all. I'm just do it working this stretch, coming back to the top, doing it again. The fact this one ain't come up though makes me think that maybe it's a channel cat. He's a digging though. We'll see here in a second. We'll see in a second. No, 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 that's not either. That's a bass. That's that's a good size bass too. Get in that net, buddy. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, that's gonna improve my score. Oh yeah. Y'all, when I came out here today, my plan was to catch a smallmouth. I thought that's what that hook just fell out to. I thought the smallmouth, if I could get myself in the money somehow, it would be smallmouth bass that done it. But that's a pretty good largemouth right there. Let me get my board set up. We'll measure him. He's gonna improve my score. All right, y'all, 15 and a quarter inch largemouth bass. We'll get that submitted and I'll do a recheck here on the leaderboard. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see my phone screen, but it's 10.58 a.m. And right now, at least with the people who have turned in their fish, I am currently sitting in fourth place with 46 inches. I am a quarter of an inch behind third place and three and three quarters inches behind first place. So still a lot of time left in this tournament. Anything can happen. Oh, there's one right under the kayak, man. Right under the kayak. Oh, it's another bass. That's another large mouth. It looks like he's a pretty good one too. Man, that one hit deep. I'm sitting at 27 feet and I had worked that jig back to me. Yeah, man. We'll measure him. I don't know if he'll I don't know if he'll replace one of my others or not, but we'll try. No, that one there just shy of 14 inches. So. Hey, he's not gonna work for us, but he was fun. All these fish are fun on the ultralight. There's a fish that's got that thing right there. He's swimming with it. Oh yeah, feels like another one that's pretty good right there. He's coming up. Yeah, that's, a, that's another large mouth. These large mouth have turned on right here. That's a good one. That's a good one. That would definitely replace one of my others. Just gotta land him. Get in that net. Get in that net, boy. Oh yeah. Yep, that'll be an upgrade. That will be an upgrade, folks. Unless I've just got the big eye. happens. <laughs> I get excited sometimes. Let's see. Now let me just put him on the board. Yep, that's an upgrade. That one there will go 15 and a quarter again. All right, guys, I got my pictures. This dang pleasure boaters have washed me up on the shore here in the process, but that's going to go 15 and a quarter inches. Definitely an improvement on my score. Heck yeah, man. We're still in this thing, buddy. Well, guys, that last fish you just saw was caught about 1130, and I didn't bother doing any more on the water updates after that because, well, quite honestly, there wasn't anything more to update. I stunk it up out there the rest of the tournament. I think once that sun got high in the sky, those fish just went deeper than they already were, and I didn't get another bite out there. But my three longest fish ended up scoring 46 and three quarters inches, which was actually good enough to put me in a tie for third place. And this tournament having 20 people, it paid out three spots, so I was in contention to cash in this thing. Unfortunately, though, this is where my good luck ran out. The tiebreakers in this tournament are determined by your longest fish. And my longest fish was 16 and a quarter inches, which just so happens was the same size as the person I was tied with. So it went to our second longest fish. His was 15 and a half and mine was 15 and a quarter. So I missed out on cashing in this tournament by a quarter of an inch. I guess it's just bad karma on me from the bass fishing gods because I use bass as bait in my catfishing videos sometimes. But nevertheless, it was a fun tournament. I had a good time out there. Caught some fish, man. The, the first half of the tournament during the morning hours there, I caught a ton of bass. I just could not get on a good quality smallmouth that I'd hoped to find out there. And, you know, one, one good smallmouth could have catapulted me over the third place guy and, and probably got me into second place too potentially but that was really the case with everybody out there i mean from the first place spot down to the 10th place spot 
it was all tight. I mean, everybody was catching small fish, but only the first place guy, Brent Long, he was the only one that got a couple good fish and uh, ultimately got the win. So congrats to him, congrats to everybody else that cashed, and uh, it's a real good event, guys. If you're in East Tennessee, you like bass fishing, check out the 10 Cat Tournament Trail. It's a great organization and a fun time if you want to get out there and compete against these guys. So I may do it again sometime, but I'm going to get back to doing the catfishing in the next video. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.